My guests are brothers, writers, and producers who make up the band, The Nux, with their second album, Eraser, released last week. They are one of the most talked about acts today. Crispy and Joey, welcome to the Top 20. What's up? What's up? So I got I to gotta start by asking where you come up with nicknames like Crispy and Joey. Because they're kind of, kind of very different. Like, why not Crispy and Krusty? Crispy is actually just like a childhood nickname. You know what I mean? That just stuck <laughs> with me. Joey is his... That's my it's actual middle name. name. So oh. his middle name is Joseph, so we always called him Joey. So just because you know, randomly that sounds a bit odd, but I'm glad that you guys cleared that up for me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So on to more serious things. So you guys broke out in 2008 with your debut album, and after that, have been playing every huge festival that the country has to offer. I've actually interviewed you guys at a couple of them. Yeah. You've built up a lot of hype. What can fans expect from Eraser? Joe. Um, I think the fans can expect uh, exactly how we are live. Somehow we, we captured that and put it on the album. So uh, sonically and just the intensity and the energy, we found a way to uh, capture that, record that, and display yeah, that just, on this album. You know, just that, that same like rock and roll energy mm -hmm. with the, you know, with little bits of hip hop and, and electronic music in there, but that same rock and roll energy straightforward, punchy in the gut music, very sexy, eraser sexy. Very oh, yeah, fun, it's very sexy. really, sexy. really fun, like, yeah. like very high energy. I really enjoyed the record. What are the, uh, what are the touring plans? Uh, I think we have like a 44 city tour or something like that, so we're gonna be everywhere. So uh, people always hit us on Get Twitter. Ready. Yeah, they always hit us on Twitter, <laughs> like, yo, come here, come here. We're literally going everywhere we can, everywhere we can, and wherever we don't hit, in those 44 cities, we're going to do another one right back behind it. We're going to take a month break and do another one. That's good news for the fans. Yeah, exactly. So I, I want to ask a quick fashion question. You guys have been, you know, wearing skinny jeans and Chuck Taylors before the whole, like, hipster trend mm -hmm. kind of came to be. Where do you get Glad your you style inspiration from? Um, uh, I, uh, I guess a lot of post-punk. Um, um, New York. New York. Oh. Early 80s, uh, late 70s. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, for us, it's classic American uniform. We Levi's, Chucks, you know, it's just like, it's the easiest thing for us. I mean, that we're stoners. I don't know if we can say that. I don't know if we can say that, but we have to do stuff that's easy and quick. Because we're like, uh, we'll wake up and be like, ah, uh, what's the easiest I thing? definitely love your look a lot more than like baggy jeans with like butts hanging out. I don't like that look at all. <laughs> I, I prefer your look. I like it. it. It takes too much, you know, pulling up the pants. And, you know. Right. There's a lot of effort. You got to walk kind of funny. Exactly. I'm saying. So on the issue of style, um, your new video for Run featuring Kid Cudi um, kind of explores the crazy day in the life of a model. What right. inspired that concept for you guys? Uh -huh. Joey wrote that. He wrote yeah, that, actually wrote, wrote that, that treatment. That's A lot of people don't know yeah. he writes our treatments, our videos. He wrote that treatment and um, we just wanted to show, you know, like show people like being like a model and stuff like that. It's the cool, real. but the real part about it is like a long, it's like real work. You wake up and it's non-stop. You have to do it all, even the parties. You have to do all of it because it's all networking and it's all just like being in it. And that's any part of the entertainment industry. Right. You know, Absolutely. You know, it's an all-day thing. You can't be like an introvert when you want to do this and people understand they just have to be yep. out there. Yeah. And uh, Joey put it in the words and turned it into this visual masterpiece. Shout out to BB Gun for directing the beautiful video. I love it. 